Hey, Noah. Have you seen that new uh, bottle flipping trend? That's yeah, pretty neat, eh? What do you say? Uh, what do you say we one up it? Yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, attempt number one of the bottle flipperama. In three, two, one. Give it, Rye. <laughs> Good start. What is it doing? <laughs> Gotta be. Just stop it now. What? what? Oh! Take number 20, three, two, one, go. Grandma, take number 21, three, two, one, go. Reset. I guess, yeah. D For 34, bottle flipper Emma, three, two, one, go. Nine, 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 one. Go. No. Oh. <laughs> Take number ninety-five. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I hate you. Okay, so uh, the first part we're doing is our ramp number one, as seen on our diagram. And what's gonna happen is we are gonna take our drill and it is gonna pull away the domino, which will intact release the marble, which will roll down and continue to hit dominoes. Taking the cuts 
for the board where our marble is gonna roll down as seen in the picture. Gonna go down and let me just check our diagram which we have set up over here displaying what we need to do. So then it's gonna hit our tape rolls. Here we go, first test try. I guess that works. Take one. Oh! Okay guys, today we are going to be making our very own tape roll rollers. They roll forward. Very cool, very nice. So we have our tape rolls here and we're going to take our nine, uh, whatever battery this is and we're going to duct tape it around here. And just for some reinforcements, we're going to take this duct tape, we're going to grab our box cutter, cut it, grab it, roll it in through here, put it right in the middle there, push it down hard, put it right in here. Now really just push it in. Make sure it's grabbing on there really well. You want to get it nice and tight in there. So now that's not going anywhere. It's going to balance on here and when it gets a little bit of motion put onto it, it's going to roll forward. Okay, so we have finished building our plinkle. We have laid down our tape rolls, which then go into books, which will then hit our lever. Brian and Noah are working on um, another marble. Puller. So here there's going to be a marble resting right there and when the books hit the cardboard lever it's going to pull it away which will then release the marble down the ramp. Know what you're working on? Making some kinetic balls. Nice. Yeah. It's working the hot glue gun over here. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. I know. Rye, what you working on over here? Well, I see it. Just had to down these two beers. Oh. <laughs> now I can make them. And look around. Like a seesaw. Yeah. Nice. Remember those? All right, so as you can see, we're all working pretty hard in here. Um, we got our stack of cups set up. It's melting, it's melting. There, let it go. The kinetic balls failed! Who set that up? <laughs> Who was even close to it? Oh my what god. What were you water. thinking? Oh, you guys rushed me, okay? <laughs> I was rushed. So our Rube Goldberg machine starts with Ryan pulling on the drill, which will then pull a domino out of a little slit, which will release a marble, which will then continue to hit dominoes. The dominoes will hit a marble which will roll off the table and continue to fall down a series of ramps which will then get to the bottom. The marble will continue to roll down a set of ramps which will then hit a roll of tape which will then hit another roll of tape which will then hit another roll of tape which will then hit books that make a chain reaction like dominoes. The dominoes acting like books will hit a lever which will pull out another domino releasing a marble down a declined ramp. The marble will roll down the ramp, fall into a cup, and this causes the other cup to lift up and pull away another block which will release the toy car. The car will roll down the ramp and hit a switch to the on position which will then short circuit a battery causing the wires to heat up and in turn heat up the string to the point where it melts off. The melted string will then release a string with a marble attached to it which will act like kinetic balls to hit over more dominoes. The dominoes will fall together and hit a large piece of wood with razors attached to it so that it can pop the balloon with a ball bearing inside acting as a weight to fall off the table. The weight will fall off the table, hit an inclined teeter-totter, and which will flip up cups, which the very top of the cup has a weight attached to it which will pull down books to act as more dominoes. The dominoes will fall over, push the basketball on a set of rails off the table which will then continue to fall and hit the inclined ramp, which will then flip our bottle. Victory swig. Victory oh. swig. Beautiful. Oh, what a hesitation.